Is it a blimp? Is it a plane? Is it an alien spacecraft? Well, it's none of the above. Hidden inside a cavernous World War II era hangar is a hybrid airship that could revolutionize cargo transportation. It's called the Aeroscraft, designed to carry giant loads to remote destinations and rugged terrain where planes are unable to land. This gleaming silver behemoth is the brainchild of former Soviet aerospace yeah. engineer That's Igor name, Pasternak, yeah. who looks and sounds like he could play a mad scientist in a James Bond movie. For the next 100 years, its new transportation system and its, transporta its vertical transportation system. Pasternak says the possible uses of the aeroscraft are nearly unlimited, from moving military supplies to transporting commercial goods to providing disaster relief after earthquakes or hurricanes. It's being built with about $35 million provided by the U.S. military's advanced research agency. Just look at this thing. It's enormous. But this is only a prototype. The real aeroscraft will be twice as big, 150 meters long, and able to carry 66 tons of cargo. Balloons, blimps, dirigibles, and zeppelins have been used for military purposes for over 150 years, with mixed success. What really killed the airship era was the 1937 Hindenburg disaster. But Eros engineers say nothing like that can happen to their aircraft. To me, this looks like just a giant balloon. Is that what it is, really? Well, actually, this is not a balloon. This is not a conventional airship. And the reason for that is because we control the buoyancy of the vehicle at any given point, which makes a huge difference. Inside the high-tech cockpit are touchscreen instruments to control the one million cubic meters of non-flammable helium, propellers, and six-jet engines. It can go 220 kilometers an hour with a range of 5,500 kilometers, carrying cargo more economically and with less emissions than existing aircraft. In 10 years from now, we will got a lot of them flying in a lot of places. Sky is not limits, yeah. <laughs> Sky is big enough for them. <laughs> Designers hope Aeroscraft will take to the skies in two or three years. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Tustin, California.